Hello everyone, it's Kelly again. And so I am inside because like I told you guys, um, thunder was roaring, I heard it outside. And so that meant that I needed to get indoors. And so I figured I would finish the next part of this video inside my house where I'm dry and where I'm safe from any lightning that could be coming. So we talked about, you know, what a thunderstorm is. We talked about what lightning is. We talked about some signs to be looking for the thunderstorm. And now we wanted to share some thunderstorm safety tips with you. So if you know a thunderstorm is coming, it's important to stay indoors at that time. I got an alert on my phone earlier today that let me know that there was a severe thunderstorm warning in my area and it let me know the time period of when it would be coming. Now, if you aren't you know, around your phone or you don't know if a thunderstorm is gonna be coming to your area, um, you can look for those warning signs, like the increased wind, um, the sudden change in temperatures, definitely the lightning if you hear that, uh, sorry, the lightning, the thunder, if you hear that, you wanna get inside. So next, when you get inside, it's important that you do not stay near any open windows. And so this is because thunderstorms can bring a lot of wind and sometimes that debris can hit, you know, the open window. And so it's just the best way to be safe. Um, so if you have open windows in your room, in any part of your house, in your car, it's important to close these windows um, so that things don't get wet or damaged. Now, another thing to think about is to stay away from metal objects. Um, and it's the same thing with water too. We wanna stay away from those two things. And the reason being is that lightning is often drawn to things like metal and, um, and water. And so those can be really good conductors where if you are touching one of those things, then you, know, you can get struck by the lightning as well. Another important thing is to not be using electronics during a thunderstorm. So um, that's important because, you know, the electricity, like say you're using something like a device that is plugged into a wall outlet, your house gets struck by lightning, you can be affected as well. And then you want to stay inside for at least 30 seconds after a thunderstorm passes. And so the reason for this is because um, you want to make sure that all of the lightning, thunder, and everything is way out of the way. Um, because sometimes even the lightning and thunder can be on the end of the storm, just like we see it on the beginning. And then if there's no way for you to get inside your house, get inside a car. Um, a car can be a safe space for you to be in, a sturdy building. Do not go near a tree, especially a tree that is standing by itself. Um, because lightning will often strike at things that are tall. And then lastly, if there's no place for you to go inside, nowhere for you to go, the best thing that you can do is to get down on your hands and knees and tuck your head down. And the reason being is because if you lay down flat, the lightning is more likely to strike you. So tucking your head down and in is going to be the safest for you. Now, we recognize that some people like watching thunderstorms. You know, they they come in quickly. They sometimes bring really heavy wind and rain. Um, but this can also make other people feel scared or anxious. And so if you are one of those people that feels, you know, scared and anxious when a thunderstorm is coming, we would definitely encourage you to utilize your self-calming techniques um, during this time. Whether you hear a thunderstorm's coming, whether the thunderstorm's here, or whether it's gone. You can take deep breaths, you can read a book, play a game, talk to somebody in your house, anything to distract your mind from what's going on and to help you to feel calm. You can also tell a trusted person, like a family member, a friend, um, a provider, let them know that you feel this way about thunderstorms and see if they have any advice or any way that they can help. And it's important to remember that you are going to be okay and that the storm is going to pass. And so just as quickly as a thunderstorm comes upon us, it just as quickly leaves. So we hope you guys enjoy the activities we've posted for you. We hope that you guys find this information helpful and that you guys are all safe when the next thunderstorm arrives and all of them thereafter. So remember, just like I did when I was outside and I heard some thunder, when thunder roars, go indoors.